Hi everyone, I had gotten a request uh, from several people to do a grooming product series on what I use for Scarlet. Um, this is overall the general stuff I use weekly, daily, all um, mixed and combined together. Um, I wanted to go ahead and share that with you and yeah, I haven't been able to film, been busy and then today with the cold weather and all that, we just have been home all day so I'm taking the time to do that. So. Um, I hope you like this video and I hope in some way it helps. Um, these are all products I've I've been using on Scarlet. They've worked. Um, what my, works for my dog may not work for yours. And like I always say, always, always ask your vet to make sure. And so yeah, let's get started. Um, for Scarlet's um, weekly usual bath, I use um, the Yorkie Splash and Shine um, shampoo and conditioner. And I highly, highly recommend these as well as the finishing detangling spray. I use this every day when I groom her when she's out of the bath. Um, Tom, not everything. And just to give a little nice smell, these are great, great products. Um, love them. Recommend them. Um, and then, of course, aside from that, I have um, a blow dryer. This is from Conair. This is a 1875. And every single time I do use it, I always make sure to have it on cool setting. Um, you know, obviously don't want to burn them or, you know, give them here or anything. I either use it on high, low. It doesn't matter as long as it's on cool. I usually use it on high setting and she does pretty good with it. Um, but this is what I use for her hair. And that's it. To dry it up. Okay. So, going into the brushes and more of the stuff that I use. Um, I have her Steve Matting Comb. Um... This is what helps me when I dry her and getting all those little knots and daily grooming off. I clean this brush every single day. I do clean it up with alcohol and all that. I just like it for hygiene purposes. But I use this every single day. And it is a lifesaver, this comb. As well as this other uh, flat padded pink brush uh, with the bristles and the round tip on the top. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but I use this for brushing her as well. Sorry if it's a little dirty. Um, I groomed her just a little while ago. Um, but I use this um, every day as well. And it is very, very helpful. In days where it's raining, like today, and the weather's been kind of not too cooperative, um, I do use the slicker brush. And this is just for getting in between her hair and really, really making sure there's no dirt on it and all that. Um, I'm real picky about it because I don't want bacteria and stuff growing in between her pores and stuff. With the long hair especially, um, I just try to make sure that it's extra, extra cleaned up. So, this is just a little slicker brush and I use this today as well because it was obviously raining and it was, yeah, she had mud on her. So, it's a little dirty. So, I apologize. And then I got this brush. I don't remember where I got it. This was actually a gift now that I remember. This was a gift. Um, but this is one of the first little brush and soft bristle brush that she got but I love this side the soft bristle side this is just where I use sometimes for her face at the front so I don't you know she won't feel like I'm poking her too hard or anything but this is the side I usually use um, because if I needed this side I can just go ahead and use this pink one and by the way I got this one at PetSmart and like I said this one was a gift so um, yeah so that's one thing and then this is the trimmers uh this is for the face feed and the ears i use this uh, once a week i like to keep her ears trimmed and clean and this is the one i use it just uses a double a battery and off away we go so yeah and when you do use this very gently be gentle um they may not like it i tend to just get get it and kind of rub it against her ear and her body so that she knows the noise and the sound that nothing bad's going to happen and it's worked so um, this is from Oster, and it's a good product. And then, obviously, I have these red um, scissors. They have a little snap here, so I use it. I use this probably, I use this once a week. And I love, love them. They're easy and all that, and um, I do clean these on a weekly basis um, with alcohol. Just to keep them clean and free of debris and more bacteria that could be caused so yeah every time you use them clean them and then these are her uh, little grooming shears that I use 
Um, these are the ones I use for cutting her hair, for trimming it, for grooming her little bum area. Because when you have a long hair, you know what I'm talking about. So those are the ones I use. And always, always be very gentle, very careful, especially with sharp edges. There's some that they sell with round tip. I need to order those. Um, but so far she's done good with these and never had any problems. So yeah, but I think the round tips would be better. I know, kind of risking it. Um, and then I also have this flea comb. I cannot stress the greatness of this little comb. I got this when I first took her to the vet the first time a week after we got her. Um, but this has come in so handy for cleaning out her, cleaning out her eyes, her face, or any extra little spots where we do need to do extra cleaning. This is the little comb I use. I always keep extra tissue for wiping her eyes or anything trash or anything related. I always have that at hand. Her grooming bands and her bows are in this box. I have more bows to add in here. Um, but the majority of it is here and I just keep her bands here. They're mixed up between the 5 16 and the quarter non-latex um, bands are all in here. And then we have um, her ear cleaning solution. This is from Hearts for Dogs and Cats uh, with Alio and Lanolin. I guess that's how you pronounce it. And this is just something I use um, daily to clean her ears, make sure, you know, there's nothing inside of it. So yeah, very good product and it does work. And then I use her toothbrush and toothpaste. This is the ProSense Canine Toothpaste for All Dog Binger Brush, the one that you put here. But now she's been pretty good at it and uh, we haven't had trouble with this, but it's been helping her teeth, keeping them clean and super, super happy. And then of course I have this grooming pillow for her. She usually puts her head either on this side or this side, um, but she's pretty good even without it. I try to get her to use this one lately, um, but that's about it. For all the grooming products I use, and um, if you have any questions on the products that I did use, um, go ahead and let me know. Feel free to ask. Um, I'll be more than happy to answer questions. So yeah, um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.